Coach, this game felt a lot like it was about a team finding its identity. Yeah. You know, early on, defense looked a little bit lost. Offense moved the ball but couldn't punch it in. How did this team find its identity so quickly? Yeah, I think, you know, we talked at halftime about, hey, we're going to fix the adjustments that we need to fix. But just hey, keep playing. Keep playing. And we knew we were going through We have a bunch of brand new uh, people to the team. Uh, as coaches, we felt like, hey, we're going to be have to go through some identity fight. I think they found it. They were able to uh, understand it, gel together, and just keep playing. What I'm probably most proud of is they just kept playing. They didn't look the scoreboard. They just kept playing. And so I'm very proud of them. It's one of my most proud moments as a head coach of this program. And so, hey, we're 2015. We want to know. Just get ready for the next week now. And then talk a little bit. You talked to your team about the 2008 yeah. season. Your last trip here obviously didn't go the way this one did. Yeah. Um, how much did that affect your preparation? Uh, or I guess how, how uh, just how sweet is this one when you take into account it? Well, I think we're taking it sweet because you take into account how far the program's come, mm -hmm. how much the administration has really been behind us, how much the, the coaching staff has really been behind us, and the players, just to say, hey, we have this vision about being a nationally dominant football program. Uh, we're not asking permission to do that, but in all this, it comes full circle of, hey, man, the last time we were here in 2008, it was a track race, and we weren't, we weren't running. They, were, they did an amazing <laughs> job. Hats off to West Texas. They're an amazing football program uh, they're big they're figures physical and they're, and they're fast uh, I'm just really proud of my team today just to how they kept playing and then this is a big uh, big statement for the GNAC not just for you guys but yeah. for the GNAC as a conference you guys right. beat Grand Valley State last year right. now you get a win over a, a really good quality Lone Star Conference team right. You know what? What kind of statement does this make about GNAC football? Well, when you're talking this big picture with leagues and, and matching them with leagues, I think it's a great statement for our league. We've got one of the best leagues in the country, and it is the is the, really the triathlon of all leagues. Is because you got a week in and week out, just keep bringing your best. There's so many athletes in our league, so many great coaches. Uh, I think it's I'm, I'm really proud for the league for hey coming on the road in Texas, getting this win, uh, a hard fought win, and now uh, you know I think. Yeah, as the voting continues and then you look at the big picture, this has got to play into, hey, this is the GNAC football is, is here to stay. Perfect. Uh, just last question. You guys are down 21 nothing. You get those 10 points at halftime, get the early second half turnover. What, what was the biggest adjustment that your defense made? I know you had the timeout uh, in the second quarter where you well, kind of brought them in. I think it's coming out. It was just there's a lot of young people playing. And so for some of the newcomers, that was our first time seeing some tempo. Uh, we got that corrected. And then just some just nerves, you know, just nerves. A couple guys missing some gaps right in there. And all in all, it just took some settling in. And our guys got on board with it all. They, 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 they got through the nervousness of game one, and now they're ready to get after it. Perfect. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you.